This is my yurt. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. This is the six foot stretch folding hexa yurt with a few, I don't want to say innovations, but a few things that I picked up from other people off the net. One of them is you'll see that I'm using, instead of the bifilament tape, I'm using just vinyl. Uh, I think it's maybe 10 gauge, about whatever was the thickest at the store. So I got the vinyl and then it's just got contact cement to attach it to the uh, polyiso panels. And this is now the end of the week. It seems to be holding up pretty well. Some of these were not taped well, but... Uh, so yeah, so this is the vinyl, the contact cement. It seems to hold up really well. Uh, I should have put more foil tape on the outside here to help protect it more, but I didn't have time. However, I believe on the side of the can, it did actually say that contact cement was UV resistant. So it seems to be doing well. I beveled all the edges for this design. Um, so it all folds down nicely. Uh, the other interesting aspect is, you'll see, this is a permanent seam. Uh, this is a permanent seam here, so it's entirely um, just vinyl and contact cement. This seam here is one of the temporary seams. And so on this side, I have the vinyl and contact cement. And then on this side, there's the other half of the vinyl. But it's actually attached, you'll see here, it's actually velcroed. Uh, it's actually velcroed together. So when I went to put it up, it was really quick. I just popped up the two halves, velcroed it together, bam, I'm done. No taping, no cutting, nothing. So it went up really, really fast. I set this all up uh, in less than an hour in the dark by myself. Um, so it went really well, really fast. Uh, the Velcro idea I actually got from the Spiral, that was his idea. He's like, why don't we Velcro them together with industrial Velcro? And uh, it's held up really well. I totally would recommend it. I, uh, it seems to be sticking well to the vinyl. It hasn't come apart. I haven't like ever felt it was at all unstable. It's just been really, really solid. Um, for my tie-down system, uh, for my t uh, tying it down, I'm using a combination of uh, ratchet straps. Uh, this one goes all the way over the top, which is lovely. Uh, and then I also have like a really, really poorly installed halo, but this thing has not moved at all all week. It's been really tight. So I've been pretty happy with that. Um, this is the folding hexier design. One thing that I didn't like about the traditional folding hexier design of this one is most of the ones I've seen, the seam on the top folds on the inside, which means that during a rainstorm, you kind of act like a gutter to channel things into your yurt. So what I actually did is I made the top seam be uh, another Velcro seam. And so this is actually two separate halves, which also makes it easier to move around because instead of being eight panels thick, I have two sections that are only four panels thick. So it makes it a lot easier to move. And then when you get it here, you just set it up and you Velcro the roof and you Velcro on the top so it keeps out the rain better and then Velcro all the other stuff. Um, to anchor it down, I'm using plyo staples. Uh, these are the first ones I did, which are a little bit more candy cane-ish. The ones that are actually in the ground, the legs are more even length. Uh, to get the nice bend, what I actually did was heated them up in a forge, and then put them in some vice clip, uh, vice clamp, and then hit it with a hammer. You'll see this side here is really nicely bent. That's because I did that one first and it was still hot. This side didn't bend as nicely because I didn't reheat it, and so it cooled down somewhat. And then I made them pointy on the end with an angle grinder, which made them a lot easier to pound into the ground. Um, and then I have just a little solar cooling system here. I've got a 30 watt panel, uh, 30 watt panel, an inverter, an eight amp hour battery. Uh, this is a pretty standard swamp cooler design. Um, and then the other fun part is the door. The door is nice round, it's beveled. Uh, it's nicely beveled there. One concern I have is if it rained, I think the water would run in. Uh, come down the roof here and run in. So I'd like to think about how to deal with that better and also how to seal light against it better. Uh, for the door handle, I actually just used a little bifilament tape because it was fast and easy and I was running out of time. Um, one nice thing about this handle is if you want some privacy because it's a sexy yurt, you can just uh, fold it in there and your roommate knows that something's going on. Um, and then there should be a handle on the inside, but I haven't actually installed that yet. Um, Inside the yurt, it's pretty typical inside. You'll note that I kind of ran out of time, so I did not put foil tape over all the seams, so there's a lot of light leakage, but uh, it's still nice. Uh, with the swamp cooler, it gets down to about 76 in the day, which is also pretty nice. Um, and then 
I think that's about it for the hex itself. 